Hey, uh, got a real simple video, video for you today. We're going to be installing SQL Server Management Studio Preview, Management Studio 21 Preview. Uh, preview, of course, as you all know, is basically beta, and there's uh, it's not full blown. There's not released. There's going to be some bugs in it, whatnot. But I've been using it on my my local systems pretty effectively. Uh, my favorite feature is dark mode, which 10 years ago me would have said that's dumb. I hate dark mode, but I love it now. Mostly because my screens are, have gotten so much bigger over time that all that white background really actually hurts my eyes. So for those of you that like to turn lights off and get dark, get down and code in a, in a dark environment, this is for you. The nature of the installation is not what it used to be as far as, um, I don't know the technical terms because I don't use Visual Studio and I'm not a developer, but it's using the Visual Studio base installer structure framework, whatever you actually call that. Uh, so that's a major change. The download is, is no big deal. You can download SSMS21 yourself. You can Google that. Everybody can. So that said, let's go over here and uh, open it up. I've got 2022 Developer Edition SQL here. I've been prepping for another video, but for that video to work, I need to do Management Studio first, so I'm not doing it during the video. So all that said, we're going to fire this up. And yes, I'm absolutely going to drink coffee during this video. Hit the continue button. The Visual Studio installer, that's what I was trying to say, probably. <laughs> so this is an Azure VM that I spun up. It's got some level of resources, multiple drives and all that, like you would for a SQL Server. Uh, generally, I don't put Management Studio on a SQL Server directly. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that I don't really care about. I like this down here that you have some choices. Do it all at once and then install it. If you've got one of those connections where you only have a limited time at your server or wherever to be able to do stuff, I guess that makes sense, but I'm just going to do it like this, you know, this quickly. So it should have, being an Azure box, it should have a, a pretty decent connection to pull the, 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 the things down, the various packages and whatnot. Um, while that's going and pulling package 7 of 184, I don't know how long this takes. I did the, uh, the the initial preview on my local box right after it was announced at, at, at past summit. I think that's where it was announced. Uh, I pulled it down immediately and, and brought it on there so we can connect to one of my my four local SQL Server instances. Yes, I have four instances of SQL Server on my laptop. I also have four solid state drives, 128 gigs of RAM, and 28 CPUs on my laptop. So for this reason, so I can do videos for you. Yes, you, I make videos for you, because I care. Um, so this this may take a little while. I'm actually gonna pop over to what looks like I'm gonna cheat. This that you're seeing now is Management Studio Dark Mode. Um, just save the time trying to figure out where to change that. It's almost everything in Management Studio is configurable. Go, go to Tools, Options, right there at the top of the first page on the general environment general tab dark you can play with all around a lot of these all of them hurt my eyes everything but dark mode um, one of the things that i found out the hard way that i had to play with is the find and replace dialog which i use a lot has been enhanced there's more to it than there used to be uh, I'll, I'll just leave that there and i don't know how many of you know this but if you have multiple lines that you want to edit, if you use Shift Alt and then the arrow keys, you can do things like this in this particular text editor. I've got a whole other video on this somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Um, and so let's just say I wanted to change this to you know pubs for all you old people. But it used to be that if the if the the alignment was all wrong it, it it made it problematic but as i'm arrowing up and down you can see that i'm selecting lines again without holding the shift alt that's new and if i go out to the end it's still holding the shift alt for me although it kind of disappeared if i hit escape it just goes back to normal so there's some there's some functionality change here which is great if you've got 20 lines of something that you're editing and you know cuz you've got 20 databases you want to do something to this is where this comes in real handy, this shift all texting. That's not unique to Management Studio, but it is super cool, in my opinion. Hey, we're getting there. We're, on, we're, we're not too far away. Again, this is just an install video. It's not you know, earth shattering or anything like that. 
Um, I'm not aware of too many prerequisites. It didn't pop any up on this machine, and this is literally a bare bones Windows 2022 data center, I think, with nothing else on it that doesn't come with an Azure VM. So I don't even have a database on here to connect to, so we'll be able to open it up, see that it worked, and, and then we'll call it good. The video I mentioned is going to be part of some live stuff that I do on LinkedIn. For those of you that follow me on LinkedIn, if you don't, feel free to do so. Um, I've got a lot of connections, so I don't take a lot of connection requests, um, uh, especially those outside of my ideal client prospect. But uh, feel free to follow along because I announce you know videos and whatnot when I take them. But there's going to be live events of me walking through a SQL Server install for people that are not DBAs and don't do a lot of installs. It, it appears to be done, so let's open the thing up. Let's just go ahead and launch it right right now. <laughs> so time on that, we're at uh, just at six minutes. So that was about a four or five minute install on a moderate machine. I forget exactly what I added all to this. Let's let's have a look. I want to say four and thirty two on. Uh, let's see, yeah, four and memory thirty two. Hey, four and thirty two. So four CPUs. 32. Um, I don't want to do it. I don't want to sign anything. I just want to see it. I'm going to close the installer. It's, it's just background noise. Also, don't need task manager anymore. So, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure. Oh no, my IP address. Uh, I don't have a server name to actually connect to at the moment. Nothing I can reach from here. But this looks very similar to what we're seeing now in. Uh, version 20 dot whatever um, so you, you wind up you're always checking this pretty much you've got to do what you've got to do put your server names in and there's probably some additional stuff in here maybe not but I haven't gone through all of it so I'm going to cancel that I'm going to bring up the object explorer if I had in databases they would be here um, I always have my, my registered servers open because like I said, I, even on my own box, I've got four SQL Server instances, any given number of which may be running at any time. And sometimes I run things just to test it all. But, um, so here we are, go over here. That's the blue standard SSMS mode, I guess. <laughs> but dark mode takes effect immediately. And yeah, I can't do that, rats. One of my absolute favorite things also is in another video uh, that I've got where it's got da, 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 tabs and windows. I love show tabs in multiple rows because if you're like me, you've got like three or four things that you always have open and you're always working on them. And then you've got query one, two, three, four, 87, 88, 89. You can pin those four and they'll go here and all your other random queries where you just open a new window for the heck of it, they're all below. So the four you need that you use frequently, you can just, they're right, they're right there. This is some, such a cool feature. Uh, next, basic video, and we're done with it. Take care.